Hi there, this is Sage Queen from GameChoice.com, and this is part three of my Adept Guide for Mass Effect 2. Now, in my previous two videos, I outlined gameplay differences between Mass Effect 1 and Mass Effect 2, and I talked about what features are, I think, most likely to affect the Adept's, uh, the Adept's game. Now, I mentioned before that I play a Bastion Barrier Adept that is a less popular take on the class, and I figured it would make things a little clearer if I take a moment and outline my personal gameplay approach to the Adept class before launching into which skills and guns I think are great. Now, you may choose to take your own Adept in a different direction, but I hope the tips that I'm going to be outlining here may be helpful to you. I built my style of Adept gameplay around the skill of Singularity, and to a lesser degree, the skill of Warp. In my mind, they devs must have given adept singularities a skill for a reason and so i decided to capitalize on that skill and find the best way to use it it is a very powerful skill and it has a host of applications again i figured if i'm not using it effectively and reliably then i should just pick another class now a lot of people when they talk about the adept they call it a space mage and figure that people are playing it something like a magic class in other fantasy style games but if you actually stop and think about it that description is pretty inaccurate in most fantasy style games, mages, sorcerers, and wizards are full up spellcasters. They're using spells 80 to 100% of the time. Their weapons are staffs. They're usually there more for stats than they're for actual use. If they do use it, it's more like an afterthought. It's kind of like they're in the middle of melee and they don't want to be. Adepts, by contrast, are marines, no question about it. Yes, they use light armor in Mass Effect 1. Yes, their weapons are lighter weapons. And yes, they don't have access to as many guns. Yes, their biotic skills are powerful and they rely on them heavily, but in Mass Effect 2 in particular, adepts end up shooting billets at least as often as they unleash skills. Because of that recharge timer, again I outlined that in the last video, adepts simply must be shooting at least half of the time, often more than half. Some folks seem to think that adepts just spam warp on mobs and they rarely touch their guns, but if you don't get your rear in gear and start shooting bullets whenever your skills are recharging, your adept will end up dead. Enemies on Insanity aren't going to sit politely and wait for your skills to recharge. They're going to flank you so fast your little glowing head is going to spin. So if we're going to stick with the fantasy genre analogies, the Adept is really more like a druid or maybe a bard. At any rate, it's a fighter-caster hybrid. And personally, I think the best metaphor for the Adept, and this is the way that I play the Adept, is as a quarterback from American football. The quarterback is the commander. The quarterback is the playmaker. She stands back where she can see everybody, and she makes a decision about what kind of play to make, be that lobbing a singularity, commanding a squad mate, tossing down warp, firing off a spray of bullets, throwing somebody across the deck, or what have you. The beauty of the Adept, then, it is a very versatile class. You can see any type of situation, and you often will have a skill in your pocket that can deal with it. Like a good quarterback, the Adept has a play in mind for every situation, and she can turn on a dime if the situation gets ugly. But what that means for the Adept is you have to know your gameplay basics. You have to know how the game is working behind the scenes. And I talked a bit about that in the previous video. You have to know your own skills, and that will be in the next few videos. You have to know the best situations for using each of your guns. You have to know your enemies and how they're going to respond to you. You need to know your terrain. You need to know where you are in the terrain. You need to know your squatty strengths and weaknesses. In short, the Adept has to be a very knowledgeable and smart shepherd. And that's not to say that other classes don't have to be. They do. But the Adept in particular, because you're using your guns and your skills in such quick jumping back and forth between them you really need to know what you're doing when and why and I really enjoy playing this way because it turns Shepard into a team leader and not just a lone soldier leading the charge again it does require a lot of background knowledge about the game it requires constant strategizing and constant awareness I personally find on insanity difficulty I can make about one maybe two stupid mistakes in a battle like a singularity doesn't land on my target or I throw warp into a wall instead of into a person but any more than that and I'm dead and if there are charging mobs involved then I just don't get to make mistakes the adept is also like a quarterback in that you really want to place yourself strategically on the battlefield once I get Shepard placed I find I don't move her until every visible enemy is dead again going back to your special skills as your starting point singularity and warp 2 they both work best at mid-range you want a vantage point where you can best see where the baddies are in low health where they're charging where they're flanking where they're using particularly obnoxious attacks, and prioritize them in terms of a kill list. I found on Insanity difficulty, it really took a whole team working together to take down mobs one by one, so you wanted to be where you could see everyone and make good choices. In choosing your vantage point, you definitely want to stay back a ways where you're not likely to get flanked or charged. You don't want the quarterback to get sacked. After all, there are no calls for unnecessary roughness in Mass Effect. There's just critical mission failure and that's it. 
But on the other hand, if you're back too far, that can make it hard to keep track of the battle as well. Warp and Singularity also can be dodged if the mobs use cover effectively. It does take a little time for Warp and Singularity to travel across the battlefield, and if you're too far back, that can give the enemy enough time to see them coming and to dodge them. And on higher difficulties, especially in Sanity, enemy AI is remarkably not stupid, and they dodge your skills a lot more often than you'd like. So the sweet spot for the Adept on the battlefield, is it's hard to define exactly since each battlefield is very different, but generally it's going to be where you can command a clear view of everything and everyone coming at you, and where you can most effectively use your Singularity and Warp skills, and I'll talk about those more in the next videos. This makes Adept best suited for mid-range battlefield manipulator styles of play, and it's very strategic, it's very smart, it's very adaptable, and it's a lot of fun. In short, you are the Biotic Quarterback. So that's my quick overview of how I play the Adept. In the next video, I'm going to outline which guns and armor I think are best suited to outfitting your quarterback biotic Adept. From Game Taurus, this is Sage Queen. Happy hunting.